everybody, it's me again, and I have some really cool stuff to tell you guys about. Um, sir, I'm going to go through the Huntington things first, and then uh, discuss two things with you guys, so prepare yourselves. Um, okay, and I dropped my phone on my toe, and that hurt a lot. I walked into the corner of the wall with my arm, and it's just, I yes, a constant walking into things. I've told you guys that. Um, I hit my head on the microwave drawer as I was closing it. Left, oh yeah, this is funny. I left a bottle and milk with a cap on, uh, with it, the caps off on the counter. So obviously I meant to. I do that where I'll be doing the dishes and I get distracted and like, just come through the water still on, so that's been happening more. Uh, yes, walked into the doorknob, but story of my life. Yes, I was vacuuming, and we have a kid gate at the bottom of the stairs, and I whacked my knee really hard on that. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. So, um, yes, hit my elbow on a head headboard, uh, and, oh, yes, okay, walked into the door. So, um, just a side note before I get to the other things, um, I fell against, so I always, on the side of the bed, I have pillows, I usually throw my blanket over there to cushion it if I'm, like, doing laundry, because sometimes I hit my shins on the headboard, so de not on the headboard, on the baseboard or whatever they're called. Um, and so I have always have my pillows and stuff over there. So when Connor was in here, he loves playing with the pillows. So I just had them all down there and had thrown him off my bed onto the pillows. And for some reason, the way I was, like stepped down and because um, there was no footing for me other than the pillows. I fell against the dress or with my head. So this is the first time I've hit my head uh, yet in a fall. In a, well, not really a fall, but um, so that hurt. Uh, it's still a little bruised, but I thought it would be a lot more ugly. Like I would have lots of nastiness to show you guys, but thankfully it just ended up like this area here uh, is what really got hit. So. First time I'm hitting my head. Okay, now, okay, so, exciting things to tell you. I might be going skydiving tomorrow. Oh, I really am going skydiving tomorrow. I'm so excited and it's nice uh, that I have to be there at 11 so I don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. Um, so I'll tell you guys, probably on Fun Friday, I will have been somebody who has skydived. So I will automatically be cooler than you guys, but no offense. Oh, okay, the other thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I'll talk about that when we... Okay, so the other thing is I am applying to get a service dog. Um, I had asked Darlene, our social worker, um, if she had... Because I didn't know where how to go about getting one. And I know social workers are full of information. So she sent me a link to one, and she said her sister, who had Huntington's disease, had a service dog. Um, but she, her sister trained Huntington's I mean, service dogs, but she already passed away. So, um, but that's, I was so, but she gave me a link to look at getting one. So I'm reading through it, you know, they're like, we're a nonprofit organization. I'm like, sweet, they should be cheap, right? $15,000? So I'm, I was really sad because I was already really, um, they can do so much, so much for you. Um, like just, you know, pick stuff up that you drop on the floor. They can open the refrigerator and drawers and get stuff out. That means I won't have to be bonking myself on everything when I'm trying to get stuff out of the fridge. Just, you know, so many things that they can benefit. And not to mention always having them around. So if you fall or whatever, they can activate a call button. Like just so many good things about having a good service dog. Um, so I uh, also, I fir that's when I first heard that Huntington's patients have um, 
sometimes have service dogs. There was a guy, um, the Bill Lawler run I used to do in Rochester, he was a retired um, police officer who had Huntington's disease and he um, did a, ra a race every year, a 5k race. Um, and I, that's when I heard he has a service dog that runs a race with him. Um, so that's, yes. So then I was looking on, you know, if there are any people who do it free. Um, and I found this place that's in Denver. Um, and they, what they do is take rescue dogs and turn them into, um, a service dogs. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And the only thing is, um, it's a waiting list and very involved application process. So I hope to submit the application in August. They want video of the house. So I have to wait until we're moved into the house. Um, and then, um, Yes, so um, so I'll submit it, you know, after we move in, um, and then then at, at, they put you on, they give you a letter that says if you're accepted, you go on the waiting list of 12 to 18 months. So it will be um, hard to wait, but just knowing that you know it's that I'll have that dog, you know, in the near future would just be awesome. So. Um, yes, so I will, they send you a letter of approval, and then you go on the waiting list, so I will hopefully get everything in and hear back soon. Um, yes, so I'm excited about that. Okay, yes. Okay, so the other thing is, we are on the last page, last chapter of this devotional. There's only 40 chapters now. Want to ask you guys for your feedback? Um, would you guys like to go through this one again, like it just did, or do you want to go back to the Psalms and Proverbs devotional? So you guys give your feedback. Um, the Pro Psalm and Proverbs one was the first one that I was doing uh, when I started this. So let me know what you think. Okay, the song, worship song of the day is Pieces by Amanda Cook, and I am, oh, gathered in his arms is the name of it. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, Revelations 1-1. One, one. What must it be, have been like for the Apostle John to hear the great voice, bold and musically clear as a trumpet announcing these words. This is the New Testament echo of what glorious word in the Old Testament. The Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. Isaiah 52, 12. On that one translation of the Bible, it is, for your van, oh, for your vanguard is the Lord, and your rear guard, the God of Israel. Alpha and Omega, vanguard and rear guard. No wonder that over and over and again, in one form or another, the Lord says to us, fear not, and, and do not let your hearts be troubled. He who begins, finishes. He who leads us on, follows behind to deal in love with other poor attempts. He gathers up the things that we have dropped, our fallen resolutions, our mistakes. He makes his blessed pardon to flow over the, our sins until they are utterly washed away. And, his, and he turns to fight the enemy who would pursue after us, to destroy us from behind. He is first and he is last. And we are gathered up in between as in great arms of eternal loving kindness. As we travel on to another day, another month or another year, we do not, we need never fear. Our Father, today you are with us, and tomorrow and all our days, your arms embrace our entire life, washed clean in you, surrounded by you. 
secure by you. I will say today and every day that you are our hiding place. Ooh, okay, now you guys have been caught up. And I will talk when I have more to say. And Fun Friday will be in two days. And I'll be so excited to tell you guys how awesome skydiving was. All right. Goodbye.